I think it's the 14th of March today and I've come to Wells on the bus to walk back across the hills to Cheddar and then get the bus back to Weston from there. That's plan A. Got about seven and a half hours. I popped in the cathedral to light a few candles for the family. For those that are with us and those that aren't. And uh, St. Catherine's Chapel, I wrote, lit one candle and then I did some more candles near a huge view of the altar and everything. I thought I would do that. I'm getting older, I can feel it, you know. I can feel the sluggishness. And, um, well, the breathing. But still, not to worry. It's just a brief video. Somebody coming already, so I'll be putting it on pause. Somebody with a child on their back. And a dog. Right, over and over a minute. The Wells Mast is only beyond those trees. The big tall radio mast that you can see normally. I mean, those clouds look dodgy. The big ones that, if they burst, they will be truly loaded. With water. So I did, I looked several times on the weather map this morning on all the digital stuff they got and it showed no rain. No rain at all. Clear skies. They didn't even hint at the sort of cloud. So I didn't bring the umbrella. I had it packed. I got waterproof trousers. But I had the umbrella packed. Because I tried to cut down on weight, I said, I'll trust them. Because it will cut my walk short. If it starts to bucket, I'll have to get to the next bus stop. Which isn't for a while anyway, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm on this little road coming out of Wells after passing the blue school. The blue school and then coming up here I've explored, this isn't new I've explored all this quite a few times and I've been right up on the top there where those hills are there I've actually been up there and come down different ways from up there yeah last year I did a pretty walk I parked up at my van up pretty then walked across several fields to Ever Gorge and walked around Ever Gorge and then found a track back to Pretty. A circular walk, that's quite nice actually that one. But it would be extremely muddy. But it was also cow free, but with old warnings of bull. So there are some areas just can't risk it. As soon as they start putting those cows out. We'll be turning off in a minute, following the West Mendip Way. Not literally, I'm not, I'm not following it step by step, it'll be extremely muddy. They always take you on a bit of a detour and 
yeah, they take you in and out of everything. That's the trouble with those roots. Um, they do do that. And there's a pole saying West Mendip Way. Now I've never followed that road down there, but I know it probably does weave down into into Wookie. That road there. Well, I'm going to follow this one to Wookie Hole through a nice, um, skirting a nice little wood. And I've taken pictures and videos of this loads of times. And then I'm going to go through there in a minute. So I'll just turn off for a moment. Over and out. Right, I've just come through a gate there and um, I'm overlooking Wookie Hole Village, Epic Gorge. I'll be going up, not up the top, I'm going to sort of skirt inside that Epic Gorge wood in a minute. It looks a long way away, it's not, it doesn't actually take you long to get there. I've been all up on the top of there in the past, various different pathways that I've used to access Ebber Gorge and get back to Wales. I've, I've, I've done, um, I'm just doing snippets which I might just join together, I've decided. I did that the other day, rather than do t um, massive videos of, of one section, I'm doing small snip snippets. <sighs> Because I've actually done this in great detail in the past. All these humps and bumps here are very relevant. There were various battles and tribes that were out here. And there's a lot of history about Wookie, with the caves as well. Big caving system here. Amber and I went in the caves a couple of years ago. I've been in them before, a long time ago, when my children were small. But I went in there with Amber. We had a nice afternoon together. And uh, when they were smaller, they used to take in turns coming to stay um, if they wanted to. And now they're teenagers. I don't know if that's a key. <laughs> There's somebody coming, so I might have to go and pause already. I'm going to go to a stile down the bottom there before I enter the village. Yes, and near where that woman is, there's a bit of fencing. I've got a feeling that's like um, a pothole. There's a stream coming down through. Um, Oh no, it's a, just an entrance where the stream goes through. Just go over to it a minute. You can see cows are normally in this field. It's very churned up. Another reason for doing this walk this time of year. Water coming off the hills, going under the ground there. And then coming out over it. Coming out here, even, I can hear it, it must, must come out deeper because look, this, this, there's no water there. A little bit of snow still from the other week. Yeah, there's a lot of history to Wookiee. Lots of battles have taken place around these places long before William the Conqueror got here. Old Saxon tribes fighting each other. <sighs> oh yeah, there's that's the it's merging there, look.
looks like it sometimes comes through there as well. I'm entering the village of Wookie now. Coombrook. So we leave that, I think it's Arthur's Hill or something like that, that's called up there. Or Alfred's Hill, one of them. I wonder if Wordsworth and Coleridge ever got here. We've got a Milton. And we've got the West Mendip Waylet sign posted there as well. A little bit more videoing. I'm turning the video off and on. I'm trying a different method this time. This is Wookie Hall. Somebody coming, got to turn it off again. Yes, a lot more difficult videoing in public places because obviously people are coming by all the time and you have to spend a lot of time editing. People are a long distance off, it doesn't matter. Because you can't hear what they're saying, you don't really see them um, as such. I'm just going to turn the camera at an angle as the car goes by. Wookie hole in there, pub. And then we've got the big Wookiee Hole complex where loads of people come to spend their money buying fantastically big ice creams they don't really need and huge ornaments and souvenirs. It's very quiet at the moment. Easter, this place will be heaving. When the kids break up, this place will be heaving. So it is quite a good time to come, actually. And there's nobody here. <laughs> you could go in the caves now, there'd be nobody in there. Apart from school trips, probably. Little church there, I've been in there. Wookie church. Yeah, I've parked in that car park. Every night again. Right, we're almost leaving the village of Wookie now, going over a bigger bridge. Something coming. Set. I can hear the water again. It must be going underneath the ground again. It's a bit of a dangerous road. That's why they've got those... Um, model policeman there to uh, warn people really warn the flipping drivers you can hear the bubbling brook big house in there, big mansion Somebody coming, got to turn off again. Right, so we've progressed a bit up there. There's a big mansion behind there, a huge mansion. You always get them, don't you? Lords of the Manor and all that. I'll just do a short bit of a video here. Um, fortunately, there is a little bit of um, pavement here and there. You just have to be very careful on the corners. Like I say, people do tend to use these small lanes as racetracks. That's the problem. They're, in many ways, are far more dangerous than if you're on a motorway or a main road because people take risks here. <sighs> Locals are probably a bit more aware. So I've got to go up this lane a bit. Then I turn off by a little cottage and I go on to farmland for a little bit and until I find the wood. Like I said, I'm not climbing up Ever Gorge today. That'll be left set 
separately for when I can park up pretty I'll do that it's just it is a pleasant walk in the countryside though um, and these are peaceful lanes but they're also death traps if you're not if you're not alert Wookie House, yes, that's the big mansion in there. Or further over the big mansion, which they're doing up. They've got scaffolding up. Yeah, there's a, there is a, quite a bit of a dangerous bit I've got to do in a minute as I skirt. There's a little bit of pavement, but it's not been maintained. A, this, these are probably farmers' cottages, um, this row here which I've videoed before. This is taking me out of Wookie, heading for Deer Leap Lane and, and Ebber Gorge. I think I, I think I turned off in a minute opposite, opposite this building I run. I might not, might not be, I might have to go a bit further. But it could be here at this little cottage on the yes it is this I'll be turning off in a minute but you if you carry on this lane it leads to Deer Leap Lane on the way to Pretty and on um, to other places where you can park a car if you want to walk around the Ebber Gorge there's um designated quite a large car park nicely designed and landscaped where you can have picnics and that sort of thing but that's further up round but that's quite a steep climb for a walker now I'm probably going to get covered in mud at the moment my boots are nice and clean I polished them cleaned them and polished them they won't be looking like this in a minute because I've got to go into a boggy field now with all that snow melting last week. So there's a two bedroom holiday let there, look. If you wanted to explore the countryside here for a long weekend. Wookie Hole, there we go, village and caves. Then we've got Elm Batch Cottage here. It's always very boggy here, um, very boggy. I always have to do a lot of darting about, as you can see. So I'm going to turn off for a minute.